from the KMNN studios, this is the Kids Morning News Network. It's Monday, January 22nd, 2024. I'm Alex in the KMNN studio in New York. It's National Polka Dot Day, so don your dots. You can't have too many polka dots. It's also National Hot Sauce Day. KMNN special correspondent Liam is happy about that one. And National Answer Your Cat's Questions Day. My cats have a lot of questions, and I do try to answer them. I don't know. I kind of think my cats aren't listening to anything I say. Let's get an update from the Winter Youth Olympics in South Korea. Remember, these are the Youth Olympics, so all the competitors are between 15 and 18 years old. Yesterday, Italy grabbed gold medals in luge, you know, those fast sleds that they lie down and shoot down a track, in both the men's singles and women's doubles events. South Korea took the top spot in women's Super G, that's downhill skiing. Germany won the men's event. China got gold medals in both women's and men's short track speed skating. France and Italy are both tied for first place overall, with four gold medals each so far. Team USA hasn't won any golds yet, but does have a silver. That was for Josie Johnson. She's 17 from Park City, Utah, and she's a ski jumper. She's actually the youngest member of the U.S. national ski jumping team. What's kind of amazing about Josie's medal is that the head coach of the U.S. team had to fly home because he had a family emergency. So coaches from Norway and Canada stepped in to coach the U.S. team. That's a real display of Olympic spirit. Congrats, Josie. The Winter Youth Olympics go until February 1st and we'll be updating every day. Last week, we heard about the flight of Peregrine, which was a spaceship that was supposed to be the first moon lander from the U.S. to touch down on the moon since the 1970s. It didn't quite work out, and Peregrine ended up back on Earth where it started, except, you know, in the form of dust after it burned up in the atmosphere. Well, 56 years ago today, in 1968, Apollo 5 lifted off, and it was a lot like Peregrine. It didn't have any people on board, but it was testing a moon lander for when eventually there would be a crew of astronauts. Like Peregrine, Apollo 5 ran into some unexpected problems, and and also like Peregrine, Mission Control decided to go ahead and run some experiments anyway, even though they weren't exactly what they planned on. And finally, like Peregrine, Apollo 5 fell back into the Earth's atmosphere at the end of its flight. And even though the mission didn't go the way they expected, Mission Control learned enough to help with a successful moon landing a year later. And hopefully our next moon mission will be in about a year. So who knows what we learned with Peregrine that they'll put to work a year from now. All right, time for the daily riddle. Friday's riddle was what has many keys but can't open any locks. The answer? A piano. Today's riddle, Monday, so it shouldn't be too tough. I can fill a room, but I don't take up any space. What am I? Answer tomorrow. With all the rain and then freezing cold weather in the northern part of the country, some people have been experiencing frost quakes. Yes, frost quakes, not frosted quakes. Frost quakes happen when the ground is saturated with water and then freezes. The water expands when it freezes, but the ground, since it's frozen, can't move around like warm dirt does, so it cracks. People who've heard these frost quakes say it sounds like a big branch cracking or like popping a big bubble of bubble wrap. If they're big enough, they can make the whole ground shake like a mini earthquake. The scientific name for them is Cryosizisms. Cryo, which has to do with cold or freezing, and seismic, which has to do with earthquakes. Have you ever experienced a frost quake? Let me know what it was like. Get your grown up to help and shoot me an email at kidsmorningnews at gmail.com. Well, the deep cold is still with us in a lot of places. The warm air will start moving in this week. Today, that incoming air will trigger a line of storms stretching from Texas all the way up to Missouri. Rain, freezing rain, and ice are all possible, so 
be prepared and stay safe. And that's the podcast for this Monday. I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for listening. From the KMNN studio in New York, this is Alex signing off.